a couple weeks ago. The Kraken added some blue line depth, trading for Jacob Megna in a return for a fourth round draft pick. And as our Alyssa Charleston learned, Megna's draw to the game is a family affair. Here's more with the Kraken defenseman. Jacob, we're so excited to have you join What's Kraken. I can't imagine being traded in the middle of a season is easy, but you're now on a Seattle team that expects to be in the playoffs. How has this transition been? Well, first of all, it's uh, going to a team that's in a playoff spot and fighting for playoff positioning down the stretch here. Um, and then as far as, as being traded, obviously I went from one road trip to another. Um, so it's been a hectic uh, couple weeks, but it's been nice to get into Seattle and start to kind of get my bearings. How do you like how this team plays? Yanni Gord told me earlier this season the Kraken wants to be relentless, fast, basically eternally energetic to tire out their teams uh, they're playing against. What are you liking so far? Yeah, you know, and from experience of playing against them, uh, you know, they're a super fast team. They're very hard to play against because they just keep coming in waves. And I think it speaks to kind of the balance of their lineup. And, you know, they do a really good job just getting on top of teams. And like you said, wearing teams down throughout the course of the game. I know you were born in Florida, but mostly grew up in Chicago, which makes a little more sense rather than Florida. Uh, while you're a hockey player, what do you remember when you were first learning the game and probably with your brother since he's also in the NHL? Yeah, you know, I think we all, uh, my parents were grew up in Florida for the most part. So I think when we got to Chicago, I don't think they knew what to do with us in the winters. So we all ended up at the rink uh, with obviously my brother and I playing hockey and my sister actually played a little hockey and then figure skated for a lot of her childhood. So we seem to be at the rink almost constantly growing up. Um, it was just a fun experience overall. Well, you know the Pacific Division very well, having played for Anaheim, more recently the San Jose Sharks. What does it take to be a team that continuously stays at the top in those top three spots in this division? And do you think the Kraken can be that kind of team? You know what? It's such a tight race right now, as you can see. So I think it's just bringing that, that competitiveness every night and, you know, not taking uh, any night for granted because uh, the teams are so close and they're so evenly matched. So you, I think it bodes well for, for us in the sense that, you know, we, we keep coming in waves, like I said, and we're very balanced up and down the lineup. And, um, you know, if, if one or two guys aren't going, we have other guys that can step up on any given night. Um, and I think you've kind of seen that throughout throughout the season from this team. Okay, I have just a few quick hitters to get to know you as a person better. What is a food that you can't live without? Steak. Oh, we got a lot of that here in Seattle. A lot of good places I'm sure <laughs> people can recommend. Um, Anything you've done so far that's your favorite thing in Seattle? I know you have a very short time in Seattle or anything you're looking forward to. Uh, well, I tell you what, just the drive from uh, Bellevue to the to the practice ring to the game rink has been pretty incredible. Just coming across the water there. Um, you don't get that many places. Last question, teammate wise, I know you're pretty new to the team, but who is sneakily strong? Like who's the strongest player on the team that maybe fans wouldn't know about? Uh, I mean, Jamie Alexiak's pretty, pretty massive human being. Um, <laughs> I uh, obviously played against him and stuff, but seeing him up close, he's, I, I like to think I'm a pretty big guy and he's, he's got 40 pounds on me. So he's uh, one of the, one of the bigger humans I've come across in hockey. <laughs> Most of the opponents probably agree having to face him. Jacob, we so appreciate you joining us on what's crack and good luck against Boston tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.